Are you looking for the perfect breakfast to start your morning and that is great for meal prep? Well, we are making strawberries and cream chia pudding. It's super delicious and nutritious. My name is Aliena and welcome to my kitchen. The most important ingredient in making our chia pudding is our chia seeds. We have four tablespoons of chia seeds here and these are really high in dietary fiber as well as omega-3 fatty acids and so they are really good for you. And I'm going to add my vanilla extract. I have half a teaspoon of vanilla, along with two to three teaspoons of maple syrup, depending on how sweet you like it. I always start off with two teaspoons, and if I want it sweeter, I'll add some more. And I'm also going to add in one cup of almond milk, or you can use your milk of choice. And now we can give this a stir together. Now we can set this off to the side and I have my strawberries. I just cut off the ends of the strawberries and you can mash these with a fork or I have a masher today. Now that I've given my strawberries a quick mash, I can add this to my chia pudding. And for the cream element of our strawberries and cream, I have vegan coconut yogurt, but you can use any yogurt. I like using unsweetened vanilla yogurt. And now we can give our pudding a final stir. Oh, this looks so good. And I love all these chunks of strawberries throughout it. And now we can transfer our chia pudding to our jar. I love making this the night before so I can have it for breakfast and letting it sit overnight. But if you wanna have this now, I recommend letting it sit for at least 30 minutes because your chia seeds are going to soak up the liquid and it'll be easier for your stomach to digest them. And the one thing I love about making chia pudding is you can add it to so many things. You can add it to smoothies and smoothie bowls, oatmeal. It's such a nutritious, nice add on, but I personally love having it just by itself. So now I am going to go pop this in my fridge and give it its time. Here we have our finished chia pudding and you can tell it's really soaked up that liquid. It's a lot thicker now and let's taste it. My favorite part. Mm. That is so good. It's so flavorful. And this honestly tastes like dessert. That's why I love it. I love a good breakfast that tastes like dessert. And also when I'm craving something sweet at night, a lot of times I will have this. So please let me know if you try it and what you think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out next week. I'm making a delicious lemon poppy seed overnight oats. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.